I kind of scoff, laugh a bit, mentioning Josh Pate hating your football team because I actually really like Josh Pate. No matter how you feel about him, I like Josh Pate. I like his stuff. He tells it like it is. He has brash opinions sometimes. And I feel like I have brash opinions too. Josh Pate has joined Locked On. I've hosted shows where Josh Pate has been a guest before and he's always been spectacular and given his time to me. And I like watching his stuff. You might hate him because of what he said about your team in the power rankings of the Big 12 programs heading into 2024. Pate put Utah at number one. As you know, I've had Utah at number one in most of mine. I agree with that. Kansas State's in his top five. Oklahoma State's in his top five. TCU's up there as well. I don't know if Texas Tech being at four, I think it's a little bit too high because we haven't seen Joey McGuire win consistently yet. His two years have been a bit tumultuous, but he's a hell of a recruiter and I don't hate it. What I do think is wild is it's 16. Cincinnati at 15. Uh, we'll get into that. Cincinnati, I understand, but he did in the video. If you watch the video, it's great. Uh, he's, he goes like Cincinnati, ah, whatever. Uh, 15 BYU, 14 Baylor, 13 Arizona State, Houston's at 12, West Virginia's at 11, Colorado's at 10, uh, Iowa State at nine, just outside, and Arizona at eight. So to piece this, to, to, to pick it apart a bit, Josh Pate said, kind of based on the last couple of years in football. So if you even look at a Baylor, they won a Sugar Bowl. They have the same head coach. They won the Sugar Bowl in the Big 12 championship with it. He put him at 14. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, Iowa State being at nine, I think has some of the most stability of any team in this conference. And kind of recently went to a Big 12 championship game. Them at nine feels low. BYU at 15. I have been to the facilities. I have walked on the practice fields, the indoor, the two outdoors. One is turf. One is grass in preparation for wherever they play that week. They have a not just a power five weight room, an elite weight room. They have the facilities. Their recruiting recently has been good. Portal notwithstanding. And Kalani Satake is an established winner at BYU. And we've decided they are 15th in the power rankings of programs in the Big 12. Josh, I like your stuff. I think you're smart. I know you're good at your job. The BYU at 15, Baylor at 14, behind Arizona State at 13. What have they done for me lately? Aside from fire a Hall of Fame coach who couldn't work out there was marred by scandal. Huh, that's weird. BYU is a game away from a bowl game. Arizona State has nothing to really stand on right now. Just tumultuous leadership. Arizona at eight just lost its head coach. Noah Fafita is great. T-Mac, they're great. I think they can be great still. But are they a, a top eight team in this? Are they a top half team in this conference ahead of Iowa State? Why is West Virginia at 11? I, the one thing I'd like to know, the one thing I'd like to know about this is whether or not he took a deep dive. Also, can I mention this too? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a pin in what I was about to say. And I know I'll tell you, I, I wonder if we took a deep dive in a returning production next year, a true deep dive. Here's the aside that I have here. When he mentioned Cincinnati at 16, he said Cincinnati 16, whatever. A couple of years ago when Cincinnati was going to the college football playoff, he was singing their praises. He didn't just say whatever because he hates Cincinnati. If your team's not good, the talking heads on major networks are not going to talk about your team. That's why I said whatever about Cincinnati, because they weren't good last year and they probably won't be that good this year. Somebody has to be the worst team in the Big 12. They're a pretty good contender. Let's be objective about this. So I understand why he said whatever. That's just the way that these people operate when it comes to bad teams. If Arizona State sucks this year, I probably won't cover them very closely like I would a team that goes 11 and one in Big 12 play. One of those teams deserves more airtime than the other. Also, I, I think that Josh Pate does put thought into these things. He understands the same as I do, that it's not easy to place these teams, to rate these teams. But I don't know if he's exactly following the criteria that he's mentioned. And again, I think he was a nails guest on this show. And I think he's a great host, but I don't mind. I don't think he would mind there being pushback. And maybe he would say that this is for content mining, right? That I'm, I'm using what he said for clicks, but Josh, Yes, I, I am. Right. That's the whole like I, I don't mind breaking down this list because part of it is wild. BYU at 15 is wild about Baylor at 14. Wild. I the the one the reason that I could that I could get on board with some of this 
is the teams that are on a downward trajectory. I believe Baylor's on a downward trajectory. Cincinnati right now is on a downward trajectory. You could argue Colorado is too. I know there were a lot, they were as Colorado fans would say they were a lot better last year than they expected to be, but there's not the there's not a, a rapid ascent in the win column. I think there is one for West Virginia. There isn't one for Houston. They're at 12. West Virginia is at 11. Colorado's at 10. West Virginia just showed you they can win games. Why are they at 11? Huh? BYU just showed you they can win five games. They can become with it, get within a game of bowl eligibility. Why are they at 15? Kansas just went, they just had an absurdly good season. Why are they at six behind TCU at five? Kansas just had a much better year than Texas Tech and TCU. Why, why are those two teams, Texas Tech and TCU, top five, and Kansas is not? Lance Leipold showed he can, he's going to stay. There are pieces of this that when you think about, like logically, we think about. Power rankings, the Big 12, these programs headed into 2024. Kansas is better on the football field than Oklahoma last year and likely than Texas Tech going into this next football season based on what we know about Kansas and their return production. West Virginia is better than Colorado. Why are they rated behind Colorado? BYU is better than Arizona State. Why are they rated behind Arizona State? Baylor could be at 16 for all I care. And I just made this whole case about them going to the Sugar Bowl and having that same head coach. I think they're on a sharp downtrend and they didn't recruit very well out of the class of 2024. I just don't think, I don't think, and I like Josh, I don't think a lot of this list makes sense. Ah, using a three-year blend, Josh, a three-year blend. You got a team that won a Sugar Bowl uh, in that three years in a Big 12 championship at 14. Hmm, it's a weird blend. Yeah, BYU, three-year blend, Josh. They had a guy named, uh, I guess that was more than three years ago. Zach Wilson, a little bit ago-ish. We can just, it's a kind of a three-year blend. I don't know. Whatever you say. Coming up, last night in basketball was electric. I enjoyed it on Locked On Big 12, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. It is your team, and guess what? It is every single day. Today's show is brought to you by FanDuel. Oh, I sit here and I think, oh, I need to make some money. So I go and I put BYU money line against Baylor alongside Texas Tech money line against TCU. And these things did not look very, very easy in the middle of these games, late in these games especially. But it all worked out in the end. Both of those teams won. And FanDuel said, you know what I'm going to give you since they won? Money. And that's why I love FanDuel. FanDuel.com forward slash locked on. Right now, with any winning $5 bet, you can get $150 in bonus bets. That's right, $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet at FanDuel.com forward slash locked on. I think, I think you can do it. I think you can do it. I think you, you can win money at FanDuel and prove to the world that you are good at the wagering thing and no sports. At FanDuel.com forward slash locked on, where you get quick bets, live same game parlays, exclusive props, and more. FanDuel.com forward slash locked on to shoot your shot. FanDuel, official sports book partner of the NBA.